from its high, isolated perch in the Atacama, Alma will spend the next several decades helping to reveal aspects of the universe hidden from previous telescopes. And plans are already underway to make the telescope even more powerful. You can see fabulous amounts of detail in the images that come from Alma. And we want to take it one step further. So we want to extend Alma to an Earth-sized virtual telescope. We want to combine the wonderful collecting area of Alma with telescopes in Hawaii, in California, Arizona, even Europe, to create a telescope as large as the Earth itself. This super telescope promises to fulfill a dream that has captivated astrophysicists ever since the time of Einstein. Imaging the event horizon, the point of no return for matter being swallowed by the black hole's intense gravitational pull. Even imaging the closest one, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, is a task that requires incredible resolution. Black holes have a very large imprint on their environment, but on the sky, they seem very, very small. You can imagine your friend holding a quarter in Los Angeles, and you're standing in New York, and now you can read the date on that quarter. That's the level of resolution we need to be able to image a black hole. NRAO's very long baseline array, which connects individual radio telescopes from the Caribbean to Hawaii, has provided similar angular resolution. But it cannot observe at short millimeter and sub-millimeter wavelengths, and cannot see sharply enough to the center of our galaxy. Alma's supersensitive observations will be combined with observations taken at other millimeter wavelength telescopes in order to peer for the first time through the veil of gas and into this unknown limbo of space-time where all the established laws of physics are pushed to their limits. And the timing couldn't be more ideal. There's this wonderful thing that's about to happen. Uh, the black hole which is feeding at a very low rate in the center of our galaxy, it's kind of sipping from a teaspoon, is about to get a huge dinner. The European Southern Observatory's very large telescope has detected a giant gas cloud being slowly sucked into the vortex. Over the next few decades, as the Event Horizon Telescope becomes a reality, the black hole will devour the cloud. And thanks to the capabilities of ALMA and generous funding from the U.S. National Science Foundation, we'll be able to watch, gaining an unprecedented understanding of the awesome cosmic force that fuels our galaxy.